I recently received this uh, Canon uh, 18 to 55 uh, kit lens, and the autofocus doesn't work. Uh, many focus do work, and you can uh, you can see half press. See, there's no uh, the motor the USM model since uh, there's uh, some problem. Uh, this kind of problem can be different uh, from lens to lens. Let's open it up to see what we can do uh, with this lens. So as usual, let's first uh, open the lens from the back. So there's a four screw here, black screw here, and also there's a two side uh, uh, little screw here that holds uh, those uh, the pins. Let's do it. So after carefully remove those four screw and the two side screws, so then we can we can take off uh, this uh, lens uh, EF, EFS mount and this one can off as well put aside there's a three uh, the rubber bush here that holds these uh, circuits Let's take it off. So from visual check, I don't think right now there's any problem here I can see visually. So the lens was put it back. Everything put it back. So I retested. Then I think I find the problem. So um, if you push the one to infinity and try to zoom and try to half press. You see, the motor can move it back, but if you try to focus on infinitive, the lens has a problem just to drive it. The motor has a very difficulty to drive this one to the infinitive. So this is good, so which means the USM model is good. Then the only problem of this lens, we just need to clean up the front element. There must be some blockage there. So that causing the autofocus to uh, to a malfunction. So let's uh, reopen it and until we clean it up, let's see. So again, I just uh, disassemble to the point that all the gears just get exposed. Um, I intentionally removed one of the gears in order to test where it's broken. I think in order. Uh, Ideally, I should just move out them one by one to check uh, all the the force that have been passing from the original to the the main drive. This is the main shaft. If you look down from here, and this one, that is the one that go down to uh, drive the uh, the front element. You see that? Um, then eventually, the original source of the power is coming from here, which is underneath through the belt, goes to the, the underneath the motor. Um, because I break this gear, so in fact, you won't see uh, the rotation of this part. So, so far from all this gear right now, it looks like it's, they can move without any friction. So, that is pretty good. I feel there's no reason that uh, those gears are causing the problem. So I decide to take it off and further to dig into what is happened. After I remove the, the transmission pack, I start to realize where the problem is of this lens. Because of this, uh, if you look at it here, the pipeline here, this is the one that sensor the autofocus. So the status of the autofocus will be through those pipelines back to those wires connected. So now because of the as you can see because of the zoom bending of this pipeline the data this data wire so it's broken. So the autofocus, this is why he doesn't know the status of the ring, where it is. So this is why 
he keeps drive and uh, never stops and won't come back so now looks like I have to fix this wire so the fixing wire so requires a lot of uh, very uh, meticulous uh, job here you have to do a very meticulous careful job here and uh, so my solution is using the six wires thin wire just to solden uh, the the base from the base because if you solden from the, 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 the line the pipelines that is almost impossible because it's too thin the only thing is to uh, solden from the base so as you can see the base is still have six small dot here and you have to do a very clean soldering um, very careful okay finally I finished the, the soldering work on the other side and uh, this side seems to be a very difficult job so my decision is to do the interleave soldering so the wires one two, one let's say one two three four five six so I go one I go solder here the three I go in the middle and the last one I goes to the the very end and leave the in the middle the between two four five if you look at the the tape here, I mean the insert here looks like they got a lot of space. So I using two, four, five, just directly sold into here. So then I can uh, put uh, the dangling part, which is uh, is broken part. So I hopefully I can put it back. Let's see uh, if it works or not. So now I put uh, everything back and I have to uh, nicely arrange those wires in order not to, to block those gears. So let's uh, put it back and give a final try. So uh, the next is just put everything back. focus stabilize on put it on wow let's focus on the wow works image Oh, it can hunt. No problem. Wow. It seems working now. See? I will just bring outdoor to give a try. Alright, this is the final update. I move outside and give a quick try and it looks like everything is good. And I have tried the wide angle, the the, in the middle range, everything looks is good. So, uh, see, yeah, well, that is pretty good. I think that's the problem, so I fix it. And uh, I think my experience is that I think this data wire just needs to be sold, and that is the most toughest top part. Um, I think that uh, I will not recommend uh, for uh, people just to, just to fix it because that job is really tough. I almost spent like almost like 90 minutes on that fixing that uh, six uh, th th those wires. I almost spent 90 minutes and fixing those wires. So it's very very tough job. Um, and for a lens as cheap as this, if you just buy the um, the 
wires from Canon, I think it definitely is not worth it. Um, so basically, uh, that is the way I have fixed this autofocus of this uh, the Canon 1855, uh, the kids lens. Okay, thanks for watching this part of the DIY fix, and uh, please leave comments, and also if you like it, just give thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel.